The United Kingdom has agreed to provide storm shadow missiles to Ukraine. But what is a storm shadow missile and why will it make a difference to this campaign? Storm shadow missiles were first invented around the mid-90s. It's a joint proposition between the UK and France. They're a long-range missile designed to hit static targets that are very deeply fortified and high-value targets. They have to be high-value because the storm shadow is quite an expensive bit of kit. It does go 300 kilometers, but it costs about £2 million a copy. But it's got a special warhead in it, a double warhead. The first warhead breaks open the target and the second warhead goes through the gap to blow up the target. And that means it can go through between two and four meters of concrete. It's also very capable of flying at very low level using terrain masking and a whole host of electronic warfare capabilities, most of which we can't talk about uh, publicly. Unfortunately, it's also very heavy, weighs about 1300 kilograms. That's more than a weight of a small car. And therefore there are only certain aircraft that can carry that sort of weight and deliver to a target, but it will provide a game-changing capability for the Ukrainian military. President Zelensky has been really clear that he needs the West's weapons. He needs short-range weapons to equip the troops on the front line, but he also needs to target Russian logistics and ammunition stores, which are often quite some way behind the front line. Now, confidence from the West about whether these weapons could be used to target within Russian soil has limited the West's appetite to provide longer range weapons. But as the West has got more and more confident in um, Ukraine's ability to use the weapons as they are requested by the West, so they've started to go to artillery, which goes 20 miles. America's provided high miles at 50 miles. And now it looks like the West, particularly around the UK, is prepared to go out to 300 kilometers. And that's a significant difference and a significant risk for the UK taking that big decision on behalf of the West. The initial Russian response has been somewhat muted. They're trying to find some adequate response. But in reality, it's very limited what Russia has available to do, quite apart from escalating to nuclear conflict, which most parties think is almost uh, impossible to envisage that that will happen. So the most likely outcome is Russia would want to throw more resources into the Ukraine war. But actually, it's thrown almost everything at it since January as it's conducted its own spring offensive. So in reality, we've seen an uptick in the number of uh, cruise missile strikes, of drone attacks, but Russia is absolutely paranoid at the moment about the forthcoming Ukraine uh, offence and therefore its massive focus outside Bakhmut has been on defence, particularly to the east of Zaporizhia where we've seen 120 kilometres of trench lines, uh, dragon's teeth, which we haven't seen since World War II. That is the focus of Russia's attention at the moment.